Hello, I'm Natalie, the EdTech Wizard, and welcome to my channel. You are here because you have a matching or a memory game, and you are ready to play it with your online students. Whether you've created this game yourself, or you've bought a, a matching game or a template from my Teachers Pay Teacher Shop, you are ready to play it virtually with your students. So there are three things you need to remember that I'm going to show you to get the best experience for you and for your students. So number one, whether you're using Google Slides or Canva, you cannot be in present mode because there are moving pieces in our game. We need to be able to move them and we cannot do that if we hit that present button. Number two, version history is gonna be so important to save you time. And then three are, how do we share this game with our Zoom screen, get all those settings set up. So let me show you our reversion history and why that's important. Here is your memory game and we just need to move these, whether this is Google Slides, but whether you have Google Slides or Canva, you just need to move them to find a match. So students are going to just pick two numbers. You'll move them. Is that a match? No. So then just do, I like to do control Z to undo what I just did to quickly put them back, or you can hit that undo button. So just move two over, even clear off to the side. Is that a match? Um, yes, it is. Then I just leave them off. Now, eventually all of these are going to be off. Now, if you are in Google Slides, this reversion history is so important. It is last edit was second to go. You're gonna click on that, and then you're gonna find the last time you had this open, which will be when all of your pieces are put back. And then restore this version. Restore, and I put all my pieces back with just that click of a button. If you are using Canva, after you have moved all of these pieces over, um, or you could even delete the pieces after you've moved them. And then if it's not a match, again, click that back button. Once all of your pieces are off, you do have to click the back button in Canva. So if you use this template in Canva, just go ahead, click that back button um, a million times for them to get all back to where they need to be. Do that right after class and then you're good to go for your next class. Now let's share our screen with Zoom. What does that look like? So you are here in Zoom, ready to teach your class and use this game. How do we share so we can still move our pieces but not have a ton of distractions for our students? So you're gonna share a portion of your screen. Go down to share screen, click on advanced, and then right here, portion of screen. And it's gonna pop up with this green box. Now, I know you can't see it, but what, well, this is what you see as a teacher, but what your students see is everything in this green box. They cannot see the my slides off to the side. They cannot see all of this distraction stuff up at the top. To them, it looks like I am in present mode because they only see my memory game. So I can still move my pieces off to the side or I can delete them however you want. To the students, they can't see any of this other stuff. So whatever is in this green box, students can see. Whatever is outside, they cannot. So share your portion of your screen with Google Slides and with Canva. There you go. You are ready to use this game in your online classroom. So have fun and your students are going to love it. Bye.